NOF set up Energy Coast in 2011, so the cluster has been running successfully now for 10 years. However, in 2019, following the announcement of the UK offshore wind sector deal, we reconstituted the cluster. We now have much greater stakeholder involvement in the group from the developers, the OEMs, the T1 contractors, innovation companies, academia, and of course the local enterprise partnerships. The core of any successful industrial strategy relies on four primary pillars. Infrastructure, a strong, sustainable supply chain, innovation, and skills. In the Northeast, we've got the ability to bring all four together for a common purpose. We've got a exciting and potentially world-leading opportunity here in the Northeast to really establish this area as part of a globally leading centre of excellence in offshore renewable energy. The strengths of the Northeast lie in our industrial heritage and our ability to innovate and to adapt. We're now being recognised as leading the way in offshore wind through the many events, marketing campaigns and the launch of our regional offshore wind supply chain directory, Energy Coast is seen as the entry point for the supply chain and also any inward investors into the region looking at offshore wind. Things are changing very, very rapidly. The growth of the industry is much faster than anybody thought. And so there's a need within Energy Coast for a group to do the more longer term thinking, the look three, five, maybe even ten years down the line, which is the innovation group. My experience is that invariably industrialists and businesses think about skill too late. They wait until their order books are full and there's a chronic skill shortage before they start thinking about addressing the skills. So our role is to hold them to account and say, look, we need your insight. We need you to think two, three, five years down the line and think about what your skills needs might be. An innovative approach ensures your long-term sustainability. It future-proofs your business. If you don't innovate, others will overtake you. What creates a really successful cluster is competition and innovation. You need some sort of competitive tension in the region to succeed. And I think we've got that competitive tension right, but we also find the right opportunities to collaborate so that when we come together, the total is greater than the sum of the parts. We mustn't forget our heritage in shipbuilding and offshore oil and gas. And it's been through developing expertise and experience in these areas, we've managed to successfully diversify into offshore wind over the last 20 years. So the expertise we have developed in shallow, deep water, our subsea engineering, our fabrication facilities and our ports infrastructure is now really uh, bearing fruit for us and that we're able to articulate quite confidently what the region can offer in offshore wind. What stands out for me is the passion, the passion behind the companies and the individuals, our offshore wind ambassadors who regularly speak positively about the region, about the industry and our capabilities and our specialisms. And for me, speaking as one voice as a region is so very, very important. One of the key things we're working on is generating that debate between education and industry. So that what we're offering is relevant to the future of the offshore wind sector and builds on the heritage that we've generated and created in the northeast. Innovation is essential for long-term prosperity and jobs within the region. The thing that excites me most about the future and possibilities around the offshore wind sector are the growth and prosperity opportunities that it will offer our young people. The rate of change excites me and the transformation that the way that turbines have got bigger faster than anybody has expected and it's now making such a large contribution already to our energy system. Going forward, NOF, which owns and operates Energy Coast, remains 100% committed to further developing the clusters. We bring our unique business development expertise to the cluster. We regularly talk to operators, developers, contractors in the industry, making sure they embrace local content wherever possible. And we're always looking for new business opportunities for our companies, whether that be in a UK project or an international project 
This cluster in the northeast of England is now 400 strong. It's a real powerhouse. One thing is for sure, the northeast of England leads the way in offshore oil and gas and in offshore wind, but watch this space around energy transition, particularly CCS and hydrogen. The northeast of England is already ahead of the game in this area. What excites me about our drive towards net zero is that all of the challenges will be either engineering led or science led. And in the northeast, we've got all of the heritage and the existing infrastructure to take advantage of that opportunity. We've got strong universities, we've got really innovative SMEs, we've got the presence of tier one suppliers, and we've got the presence of owner operators on the market absolutely on our doorstep. We drove the first industrial revolution and we can drive the next industrial revolution.